plants growing in nature constantly face environmental conditions that might endanger their survival. For example, they may experience severe floodings, long-term drought, or grow in soils with very little nutrients. Also, they are attacked by pests, small insects, and microbial pathogens. Since plants cannot physically move, they have adapted to survive all of these conditions and, in many cases, they rely on microbes to help them fight the harsh conditions. During my PhD research, I focused on the interactions that take place in the surrounding area of plant roots that is still affected by plant secretions, which we call the rhizosphere. What we observed was that not only specific microbes can help the plant to survive, but that the microbial community as a whole is important to maintain plant health. One of the methods we most used is based on next generation sequencing where we amplify DNA sequences that differ among microbes and allow us to identify them. By using this method, we and many other researchers around the world have realized that across all plant species, there is a group of bacteria that are always present, regardless the plant species or where it grows. This tells us that there is some conserved signal that is shared across plants, and that is one of the cues for the structure of bacterial communities in plant tissues. But we still don't know what this is, and it will be very important to figure out in order to design the next generation agricultural systems, where we take into account the plant and its microbiota as a whole. But as you can imagine, working with plants is hard and very time consuming. So now, in the group of Ruben Garrido Ter at the Max Planck Institute for Plant Breeding Research, we are developing a new working system based on soil microalgae. Specifically, we're using Chlamydomonas reinhardii, a soil microalgae, to understand how photosynthetic organisms can interact with soil microbes and use them to survive in nature. Chlamydomonas reinhardi or clammy, how we call her in the lab, also secretes compounds to its surrounding area and is also capable of affecting bacterial communities. Very interestingly, we have also found out that clammy can affect bacterial communities in a very similar way to that of land plants, suggesting that clammy could be a suitable model to understand plant microbe interactions in a faster and simpler way. This will hopefully help us advance this research field for a more sustainable future. Stay tuned!